Let's start by taking the wheel off, 19 millimeter socket, take off all five of your lug nuts. And remove the wheel. I'm gonna start with this bolt right here, 15 millimeter socket, remove it. Okay, now this bracket comes up. Now with a pry bar, pry this control arm out, knuckle comes forward, control arm is free. There we go, follow it along. Let's remove this 15 millimeter bolt that holds it on on the inner part. I can't really get a power tool in here, so I'm gonna have to do this one by hand. So, I'll grab this long ratchet. Okay, I got the bolt pretty much out. Let's take the tool off. Pull the bolt out, hold the control arm, and now you can fish it right up and out. Grab your new control arm, slide it in. Try to line it up with the bolt hole in there. And put the bolt through. Okay, I'm gonna start it onto the threads. And when you install the um, bolt in there, just make sure that the control arm is sitting right about here. This is where it was sitting before. These bushings get uh, pinched down when you tighten the bolt and you want it to be at right height. If you let it sit down like this and then you bring it up at right height with the suspension compressed, it's actually gonna twist the bushing at all times while you're driving and then it's gonna prematurely wear. So make sure it's sitting where it's supposed to be and we'll go ahead and tighten up this bolt. All right. So I'm going to hold it and make the bolt nice and tight. Okay, once you snug it, control arm should stay. Let's switch to my longer ratchet and then make sure it's actually tight. I don't have a torque spec for this one, so just do your best to ensure that it's tight. If you wanted to put thread locker on the bolt, you can go ahead and do that. There we go. That's perfect. Pull the brake hose over the arm, push the knuckle in, take a hammer, hammer it in. That's, it's working. I have my bolt ready. I'm gonna hammer the control arm up a little bit and hopefully that'll allow me to line up this hole. There it goes. Okay, now that it's lined up, take the bolts back out. It should stay, put the bracket on. You can put this bracket on from the beginning, but it's gonna keep wanting to flop around, which is why I didn't. And then drive your bolt through. Now we'll have to line up the other side because the control arm's kind of at an angle and so is the knuckle. So we'll have to push this side in to line up the threads. I have a pole jack here, which I'm gonna use to raise the suspension up and this will help me line up the bolt threads better. It'll be a lot easier this way. So I'm just gonna go up probably a total of a couple inches here or until I see the bolt getting closer to the threads. And now here's a trick. You can take a socket on a long extension, put it on your bolt and use it to pry the bolt into place. There we have it. It started onto the threads. Now with the suspension at right height, with my pole jack still in there, I'm gonna tighten up this bushing. Just like the inner bushing, you want this one to be at right height so that it doesn't twist when it doesn't need to. Perfect, nice and tight. Remove your pole jack or whatever you had supporting this. Let's get the wheel back on. Start on all of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and torque them to 100 foot-pounds. 